A European satellite weighing more than a ton is in the process of crashing back to Earth tonight. No one's sure where it will hit, but the sheer size of the object has captured attention around the globe. Don Daler has more. The Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer, or GOCHE, was launched in 2009. It ran out of fuel on October 21st and has succumbed to the very thing it was designed to study, gravity. Where it will drop, no one knows, but CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood says it's not likely to hurt anyone when it does. They estimate that the odds of getting hit by a piece of space debris are about one in a trillion. Goche's fiery end will look something like this video of a European spacecraft re-entering the Earth's atmosphere in 2008. It exploded into thousands of pieces before crashing into the Pacific. In fact, that's when most unmanned spacecraft end up when they lose orbit. In recent years, a NASA satellite, a Russian space probe, and the Mir space station all splashed harmlessly in the ocean. Every year, literally dozens of objects return to Earth in similar fashion. This one's a little unique in that it's a fairly large spacecraft as these things go. Scientists aren't able to predict the exact location where a satellite will slam into the Earth because they skip along the outer layers of the atmosphere, much like a rock thrown across the surface of a pond. It's anyone's guess where the object will finally make re-entry. Goche's mission was considered a success. It created the first high-resolution map of the boundary between the Earth's crust and mantle. But it also reiterated what Sir Isaac Newton declared 350 years ago. What goes up must come down. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.